Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Otto's Garage. These we've been waiting for for some time. And in here we have got ourselves a little disc. But it is a little disc for the brake. So I've had these specifically made uh, because obviously the offset on the uh, original one that was supplied before was incorrect. So I've had these made up and I'm going to get them offered up and we'll see what they look like on the car. So that's the original disc and uh, this is the part that we've had um, made up. So basically I took all the dimensions off the original disc and the original bell and then sent that over to the guy that can do the um, CNC parts. And it actually fits absolutely bang on. So the only thing I need to do now is I'll get that mounted up on that hub a bit later. Um, Sorry, on the, on the disc, and then we'll get it on the hub on the car. But you can see how the um, the offset of it is, is considerably less than the previous bell. And now, of course, she's going to be mounted on the correct side. Um, so that the, uh, the, the nuts on the back will be hidden inside the disc. In there. So uh, that should get around all of the problems that we were experiencing before where the nuts were fouling on the ball joint and the wishbone. So I'll get that knocked together, we'll have a look at it, I'll get it on the car and then hopefully that will be the front brakes sorted. Yippee-i-a. There it is bolted up. So you can see now the bolts are in the inside of the disc so when she's spinning around we're not going to get any fouling onto the uh, suspension arms and the components inside. Uh, the other thing we have got to do is we've got to look at the veins uh, and that's the critical uh, way for fitting them. Uh, evidently the slots in the side, some manufacturers say go one way, some go the other, but the thing that's critical is the way the veins are between the actual discs themselves. Uh, because when the disc is spinning around, it centrifugally throws the air out basically so it's taking the heat out away from the rotor all the time. Um, so basically, these ones are pointing down that way, sloping that way. So this would be a left-hand um, left disc. So as it spins around this way, obviously it's going forward. It's encouraging the air to flow out. That's what they say. And there's the original one, which had the bell kind of just, yeah, not in the right place. So that's the old one, and that's going to have to come out, and we'll put the new one into this disc. Uh, but if we just have a look on the car, I have mounted up that first one, and she is sitting like a peach. So it's hardly any offset there. That's the new, the new bell that I've had made. That's simple enough. Uh, this is all the original caliper and the original disc and we've got it on full lock now and there is no clashing inside at all you can see down there everything's clearing nicely so the job is a good one uh, I'm very impressed with that but it's not been without headaches because basically comp brake had to make uh, this bracket up here to get it to sit right I've had to make this bracket up here because they didn't get it right at all uh, so we've basically got a Comprake caliper, which is really good quality, don't get me wrong, and uh, a nice quality Comprake disc as well. Uh, but it's a bit of a hybrid, and she all works. So all I've got to do now is get the other one mounted up, and then we'll uh, we'll have some proper front brakes on it. And there it is, mounted up on the car. So I'm quite happy with that and everything runs freely on it so the next job on the brakes is going to be trying to tackle the master cylinder and the balance 
but that's for another day. Well, I must say, I'm glad to get those brakes sorted finally. Uh, I'm not kidding you, it's been uh, probably 20 months since they were originally ordered. But anyway, that's that sorted. Uh, the next thing is going to be the engine, obviously. Uh, and I'm just going to have a quick look at that now. Oh, by the way, don't worry about this. That's just a karate injury. Uh, but hopefully that uh, isn't knocked any sense out of my head. Probably the other way around. So, uh, obviously the head's off. And what I'm trying to do now is get the... Um, cam pulleys off so these two here but of course uh, with the nut on the end there you try the bolt sorry that you're trying to undo you just get a socket on that the whole thing will just spin and because it's out of the engine we've got no means of restraining it really so what i've done is i've used my good friend uh, the old angle bar uh, we've got a couple of bolts going through there which just go into the holes inside the wheel so they're not actually fixed to the wheel but they're stopping it from turning and then we get a breaker bar on this end of it Give her a twist round and because it's um, levering down over here onto the bench um, it, it means that we can just basically uh, rotate the bolt round so i've already broken the um, uh, the poundage on that and now you can see that the the bolt in there is actually now quite loose so when that's off i can take the pulley off we can get the um, the cam carriers off and get the cam out of the head well, there it is. Uh, that's the head off. And obviously we've got the uh, cam carriers off as well. Um, one of the cams has got, I think, quite a bit of wear on it. And you can just see that there. Um, this here is, you know, it's quite, it's quite worn. And you can even feel it's a bit pitted. But I'm not too fussed about that because those cams are going. We're going to get some new cams for it. Um, but we've got everything else out and now she's going to be ready for taking round to Tim's to drop into the um, washer and see what she looks like. Um, yeah, so that's the next stage. Get it cleaned, get it washed and get it inspected. So that's the engine completely stripped now. Uh, the only thing that hasn't been done is I haven't taken the uh, collets off the valves. We'll do that on the bench when we're actually at the engine builders. Uh, but basically all the cams have come out of the carriers and uh, there's all the lifters and etc there and the main bearing bolts um, Pistons here Again, we're all ready really for a bit of cleaning and inspection on this. So I'm not going to do anything else to it until Tim's had a look at it and um, There you are down the bores So those bores are quite good. I'm quite quite pleased with how they look but um, When we actually get it cleaned off, we'll be able to see a little bit more hard to tell at the moment um, but it's all just a bit of a mess. So, uh, engine block colour, when that comes back, a couple of people have said, oh, do it this colour, do it that colour. I do like the idea of trying to keep it reasonably factory, and I think you can kind of see at the end over there, it's obviously quite grey. Uh, it's had a, a light grey paint on it, so I think we may be going back for that. Um, definitely going red with the uh, cam covers might even put a bit of crackle on the on the top of the cam cover is there but uh, yeah so she'll have a redhead on her anyway next job into the parts washer so thanks for watching Otto's Garage hope to catch you on the next episode see if you can get your mates to subscribe to the channel uh, we've nearly got 700 subscribers now and it'd be great if we can just crack that barrier and finally uh, stay safe catch you on the next episode Cheers. Bye bye.